Mary Ellen Field, Elle McPherson's former business manager and fellow Australian, has told the High Court in London the model accused her both of leaking information to the press and of being an alcoholic. Ms Field was among a group of alleged phone hacking victims giving evidence at the Leveson inquiry into press ethics in Britain. Europe correspondent Emma Alberici reports. Mary Ellen Field isn't used to all this attention, but she worked for someone who loved the cameras. She was Elle McPherson's business manager, but she became a friend too. All that changed when the supermodel accused her of leaking stories to the press and later fired her. So I went in and she put her arms around me and cries and tells me that, you know, she knows what it's like to be an alcoholic, and which that's a matter of public record, so I'm not saying anything I shouldn't say. And and that she's going to help me and she knows that I would never have spoken to the media were it not for my alcoholism. Elle McPherson sent her one-time confidant to a rehab clinic in America where it was confirmed she was not an alcoholic. Ms Field was sacked anyway. It later emerged the model and her advisor had been victims of phone hacking by the News of the World. Jim and Margaret Watson had their own traumatic experience with the press. Their 16-year-old daughter was stabbed to death by a fellow student in the schoolyard. The local paper depicted Diane Watson as a bully who'd provoked the attack. Soon after, the couple's son committed suicide, clutching the newspaper articles so critical of his dead sister. We need protection just because a person's died. Their reputation shouldn't die with them. It shouldn't be dismissed at the will of some sick journalist because that's where they are sick. Once the victims have told their stories, the inquiry will turn its focus to Scotland Yard and allegations that police officers sold stories to the tabloid press. Emma Alberici, ABC News, London.